completely forgot about the crossover he promised me. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Hey, what's up? You promised me a crossover a while ago, and we never got done. You better start talking. What crossover? Like I said, you promised me one and never gave the time to make it with me. Um, okay. Um, why don't we review, uh, Tommy Oliver? I'm going to choose since you left me in the dust to do other things. Let's do Trackmaster Merlin and Hurricane. But I'm already doing a double review on that later on. Too bad, we're doing it. But... No buts. Okay, fine, but could you at least calm down? Sure. Are you ready to get started? I guess so, yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Aiden, here. Hello everyone, this is Tramboy12 here. And we will be reviewing Merlin and Hurricane. And my Lexi will be watching. The audience is you and her, so let's get started. Trainboy12, start us off! Thank you, Aiden. All right, which item do I review first? Ah! Okay, I guess that means Hurricane. Okay, let's get this lightning of a Trackmaster open. Oh my gosh. The buckets rock from side to side. Here he is inside the box, and here he is outside the box. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot to see on Hurricane and his ladle trucks, or slag trucks, or whatever. Let's start with Hurricane. He has a lot of detail, and that is definitely something to look upon. He is in the correct shade of maroon, and they even made his wheels bright red, which is great for the basics. He's even covered in soot since he works in the hot steelworks on the mainland, which is a very nice touch. Hurricane's face is very accurate to the movie, and that is also a very nice touch. Although, it should be expected, because that's the one thing that Mattel can really do nowadays. Anyways, this model makes Hurricane look like a tank engine, which is basically what he is, but his base is longer than a normal tank engine. When I first saw him, he looked like a tender engine, but we all know how that turned out. I don't think that the size on this model is really that big of a deal, but the thing is is that with all the Trackmaster 2 models, all the tenderless engines are the exact same size, which is really a downgrade. Something else I don't get about this model is that the buffers are now colored in, but they're flattened on the running board. They're not even buffers, they're just black circles on the running board. I'm not going to say anything else, because it's kinda going to get weird. All of the detail on this model is printed on, which is okay, but it's very obvious that there could just be that one unlucky consumer that purchases one of these and gets bad printing on their model. I bet we've all had one of those days before, haven't we? <coughs> Take and put <coughs> Mike. <coughs> one last thing is that Hurricane's coal bunker is excessively shortened. He would need to stop at a coal hopper for more coal every time he travels a fourth of a mile. Wait, what the- <coughs> Okay, whose idea was it at Mattel to not color in the lamp? If you're not going to color it in, why even put it there at all? Overall, Hurricane himself is a great model. There may have been a few minor, quotation marks, mistakes on this model, but I really like it. I may have made it seem like it's a bad model, but it really isn't. Now onto the ladle trucks. I like these trucks. I think that they're very unique, and it's something that hasn't been introduced into the Thomas universe until August 8th, when JBS was leaked on YouTube. I like how they're covered in soot like Hurricane is, but I don't get why they're different colors. Eh, whatever. Fun fact, I have two Hurricanes, so that means that I have four ladle trucks. How do you like Manabra? So the thing is, I got my first Hurricane with my Merlin, but then it wouldn't move when I put a battery in it, so I got a voucher and bought a new one. I like how the trucks can sway from side to side, but in the movie they can tip all the way on their side. It's not that bad that the ladle trucks can't do that, but it would be nice if they did. The slag in the trucks is really nice. Even though it's just a spinning circle of molten lava, that means it can sway from side to side logically with the trucks. In conclusion, Steelworks Hurricane is a nice pack. It includes a very nice replica of Hurricane and two ladle cars or... <sighs> trucks that are exclusive in this set. I may have made Hurricane seem like a bad model, but he really isn't. The ladle cars are nice as well. 
I'm going to rate Steelworks Hurricane an 8 out of 10. Could use some improvement, but overall really good. Now on to you, Aiden. So I'm going to start with Hurricane, since I'm so freaking excited to get him out of the box. Hurricane is so freaking beautiful. <gasps> Holy cow. A uh, plastic thingy that holds Hurricane, out. Construction pan faletto, out. Hurricane box, out. Okay, okay, Hurricane looks really nice. I like his red wheels. Especially those red wheels, they're on fleek. That's the death of fleek. The slide cars look really nice, and they move, and the buckets move side to side to give the little kitties a thrill. Now Hurricane, he looks outstandingly amazing. He looks as close as the track masters can get to the show, and also Merlin looks great, but I'm not there yet. Uh, I'll talk about more of that in the Merlin review. And if you take a closer look at Hurricane, those scuffs on his paintwork really make makes him like you know where he's meant to be. Like he he's a steelworks engine. Also, at first I thought this guy was gonna be a tender engine, but really he's just. A tank engine and now since I've seen him he looks absolutely like a tank engine I wish they made a trackmaster Frankie to go along with him and that's kind of the same with Merlin I wish they made a Theo to go along with him but I'll get the adventures for Theo and, and um, Frankie instead so that may be another review and now it's time for Tramboy 12's um, time to review um, Trackmaster Hurricane, I mean, um, Trackmaster Merlin, then I'll get to my Trackmaster Merlin review, and then it'll be the end of the review. So yeah, here is Chamber 12's Merlin review. Now it's time for Merlin. Merlin is another really nice model, or toy. Now let's get him open. So here we have Merlin, and uh, let's just call it a gear car. Let's start with Merlin. Trackmaster Merlin is a really good replica of Merlin from JBS. His chrome paint job is very reflecting. Yikes. Hope it doesn't show my face. I like how his livery is reflecting because that adds on to the fact that he is invisible. Merlin's basis was meant to be invisible to hide from Nazi planes up above, so the chrome livery is a very nice touch. His face is very accurate to Merlin's face in the movie. Sadly, all the details on Merlin are printed on, but there aren't that many, so it's not something to really worry about. His number 783 is crisply applied on his tender on both sides and his running board, along with his cab. Again, I don't like how the buffers are flattened onto the buffer beam. It looks even weirder on Merlin than it did on Hurricane. But I digress. When I first opened Merlin, I inspected the whole model, and there were some smear marks around the locomotive. I honestly don't know how Mattel would have let that slip, but hopefully you guys were luckier than I was. Now this is really just nitpicking, but Merlin's three funnels don't have a hole in them. They should, but it's really not that big a deal that they don't. I didn't mention this with Hurricane's ladle trucks, but Merlin's tender and the gear car have black trailing couplings, and the leading couplings can move up and down and side to side now. This is the first time that this has happened, and I think it's okay, but I kind of liked it when the trailing couplings could move from side to side on its own and make it seem believable. I don't know if this will continue, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, Merlin is a very nice locomotive. He represents Merlin from JBS and his bassist, the King Arthur class, very well. I like Hurricane more than Merlin in the movie, but in this case, it's vice versa. Now onto the gear car. I really have no idea what this is called. If any of you watching this knows what it's called, please let me know. Anyways, this car is a very nice part of the set, but it's obviously just there for the children. When Merlin chuffs along the tracks with it, the rod connected to the gear spins around with the gear and it goes around and around and around. I mean, it's cool to have and it's probably in this pack because there were a lot of contraptions and weird cars in that yard that Merlin, Theo, and Lexi were in, but we all know the real reason why it's there. Overall, Merlin the Invisible would make a great addition to anyone's collection. It's a great pack to have and it's really worth every penny. I'm going to give Merlin the Invisible a 9 out of 10. Okay, so now it is time to review Merlin, so 
Burger King, get out of here. Even though I like you as a model. Okay, so here is Merlin. Now, because he's already unboxed, because I got him in August, this may be a shorter part of my um review because Hurricane, he had the box, so I had time to make conversation with you guys, and even though I didn't really open him on camera, yeah. Fleek? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with is I really like his red wheels, same with Hurricane. Fleek? This meme is getting so overused. His metallic paint is just interesting. I think they just paint him gray, but no. He is metallic, and it kind of goes along with his character for being an invisible engine. I like how his metallic paint makes him look so interesting. I love his face. It looks like they took it right out of the movie. His funnels look great too. They didn't do anything wrong with this model, and I, I just love it. So for Hurricane, I give him a 10 out of 10, and Merlin, I give him a 10 out of 10. I am very picky, so Mattel must have done a great job. Now we are going to say goodbye and do our outro, and yeah, this is the end of the review. So that's basically it. Both Steelworks, Hurricane, and Merlin the Invisible are great Trackmaster packs to have. I recommend them both, but if I had to choose one over the other, that would definitely be Merlin. Hurricane is still good too, though. I look forward to using them in my Trackmaster series in the future. Bye, guys.